Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want them to be is like trying try to change a dog into a cat or a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 667. NASDAQ is up 207. S&P's up 78. Gold contract up $21.90. Trading at a price point of 16.58 an ounce. We got silver up 53 cents. $19.22 an ounce, light sweet crude up $0.34, cents, $84.85 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note up 13 ticks, trading 109.24, the 30-year down a full point, plus 12 ticks at 119.02 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 1,026 ticks, trading at 111.853, the euro is at 98 the yen is at 146.96, and the British pound is at 112 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We're going to bring the futures up for us because what we're doing right now, which is pretty cool, this had a high-volume spike, and we're going after that spike right now. So we got, let me see what we have here. Okay, it just spiked it. You got nine minutes, okay, this is not bad. You got, so the volume there is 34,000. We're coming into it with 28. Yeah, at the bottom line, we'll see whether it can handle it. Uh, you get a minute. So then let's go over to the NQs. I don't expect a big pullback here. Uh, what I do expect, folks, you're gonna get a small pullback because what ends up happening, when you get a day like today, um, you know, if you got on the trend, uh, people are going to be taking some profits at the end of the day here. So if we go take a look at the NQs, you're going to see the NQs that had 13,000 contracts and we're at eight and that bar is going to end. So the real question is, can that bar end over 320 and it's not going to end over 320. So right there. So the way that I do this, what that's going to say, that's going to say that we're going to go all the way over here. So that'd be 248. Right now you're at 314. That'd say, you know, more than likely it would come into the close, you know, because that's the last time we had volume up there. We had volume all the way up to, by the way, today. Volume up, pull back with light volume. Volume up, pull back with light volume. Bottom line. And what is it all about? Check it out, man. You get over to the yen. You had the Bank of, of Japan come in the marketplace. Bought, 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 bought the yen. You're going to buy the yen to support it. That's, that's what they did. And now, this is what the differential is. Look at this bar and look at the last time they came in. Man, it's almost the same deal. The last time they came in, they drove the yen from 145 to 140, but then it closed at 142. This time, they drove it from 151 to 146. Now, it's not closed yet, but the bottom line is that, you know, yeah. And then this is this is the biggest chart you want to keep your eye on, folks. And you know you got you got to love charts when they do this, man. It is so wild that this you know we really have a shot now that the dollar will basically break its uptrend. You can see this first crossbar that I have on the 13th of September. You can see it came right down to the trend trend line. This is 10. 7964 rejected it. Did it again? Well, this was intervention. The second, this next one here wasn't intervention, just came bit down, came down to the trend. Today's intervention, and you can see it hasn't broken that, that line yet. You know, if we get it, if we get, and I just, this is what I'm suspecting, that what the Japan, the Bank of Japan is gonna have to do is this. They can't just come in once. That's how this thing shakes out. That's what they did last time. Didn't work. You know, you're talking about currency traders. You're talking about going after other banks going after them. They're going to have to come in again. I suspect they're going to have to come in Sunday night. That's how this normally would work. Uh, they came in fast and furious, though, intraday. There's no doubt about that. We go take a look at the gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Bottom line, we, we, got, we got movement big time here. Gold contract rejected 1621. You're at 16. 
59 right now, and we finally have movement in the streamers. Okay, if we take a look at Franco Nevada, Franco Nevada has movement out here. It's up 428. We take a look at, um, let's go to Royal. Take a look at Royal Gold. Real gold has movement. They all, their bottom line, it's up three bucks. They, the bottom line is that they all got movement, and the movement is uh, pretty good. That's the bottom line. Let's go to uh, Sam in L.A. Hey, Sam, what's going on? You there, Hi, Sam? Tom. Hello? Yeah, Hi. I can hear you, Tom. Can you hear me? I sure can. How you doing? Pretty good. good. Uh, I was looking at your comments on the market update. Thanks a lot for that. Absolutely. So I have a few questions, actually. It might take a little while. That's okay. But let's start with the SPY. I was looking at the SPY on daily. I do see a reverse head and, and shoulders. Do you think it is going to go upwards? Yeah, so if we if we take a look at the SPY, that the SPY, you know, is in a potential ABC structure up, and it's a big one. It's a 27.8 A to B. So that'll give you a price projection of uh, 90, 390. And on Monday, we're going to need volume with 97 million as it goes after 375.45. And today, we're doing 94. So, you know, bottom line is that it has a shot to do that ABC structure up. And then to answer your question, that yes, this could be a very small head and shoulders. I know. It's, 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 it's set up nice, man. It really is. There's no doubt about that. And if that's what it is, then you're talking 48. So then you're talking another 30. You're talking 410. What's that up there? 411. Yeah, see, that's what's cool. If, if, on the head and shoulders, folks, you can take the top to the bottom. That'll give you a projection of 410 and 411 to 73 is the um, high that was established out here on the 12th of September. Stay right there, Sam. We'll answer the rest of your questions. We're going to take a short break. Dow Industrials right now up uh, 697. NASDAQ's up 219. S&Ps are up uh, 82. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.